is day seven of making a cyclo drive for a robotic arm, and the first stage ring gear has some more problems. After sanding and testing the first stage ring gear yesterday, I mounted some inner bearings for the first stage cycloto disc, and just like the second stage ring gear, each bearing uses a pair of inserts to make sure that they stay centered to their screw. Once the bearings were mounted, I placed the first stage cycloto disc inside, and similarly to the second stage cycloto disc, it was a bit of a tight fit. When I tried to spin it, however, it had very little resistance, which was really nice. Somehow though, it felt better than the second stage ring gear and disc, even though they had the same dimensions, so that was a little weird, but uh, it works, so I don't really care. In yesterday's video, you might have noticed that the second stage ring gear was spinning upside down. Yeah, so the reason why that's happening right now is because these nuts right here, these are actually further out than than these horizontal bearings, so these are actually rubbing against against the uh, this surface of the, the second stage ring gear. And I was able to confirm that this is actually happening since I used the silver marker to mark the end of each nylon nut. If the second stage ring gear was contacting the nylon nuts, then the ink would rub off and reveal the exact area of contact. Hey, what do you know? There's there's a little bit of silver on, on the second stage ring. So to fix this, I replaced these nylon nuts with thinner hex nuts, which aren't as secure as the nylon nuts, but we'll have to do for now. After that, I tested the friction again and it was still difficult to turn. The hex nuts still had some slight contact with the second stage ring gear, but this time I was suspecting that it was from the disc bearing screws on both the first and second stage ring gears. So I did another silver ink test and there are silver lines on the bottom surface of the second stage ring gear from the screws. What I'll need to do is essentially just either file these down or cut them off so that they don't hit these. So that will be a tomorrow thing. Thank you.